All right, so now I want to talk about a really cool feature inside of Substance Painter called Anchor Points. Um, and basically what an anchor point is, it's a way for you to layer effects together. So it's basically like if I paint something here, not only do I want to affect the paint here, but I also want to affect some other layers up above it. Um, and let me show you, let me show you what I mean by that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just for simple sake, I'm just gonna create a paint layer here. Um, and I'm going to paint a white stroke here on, on top of this, right? Awesome. Let's say I wanted, actually, instead of this just being a white stroke, I wanted it to be uh, white with like uh, a little bit of a, actually, let's do it this way. Let's do a hard brush. Then I'm gonna paint white. And then I just kind of want like a red glow around that. So what I would do is I would basically take this layer and add an anchor point to it. And basically it's saying, just read in this line that I made. Anything that happened in this layer, just read it in. And then what I'm gonna do is on top of that, I'm going to make a fill layer that's red. And inside the mask, I wanna mask it to just this line. So what I can do is I can add a, uh, a fill layer. And normally, you know, you would add in a mat, but notice here now that we have this anchor point, I can go over here and you can see, oh, layer two, that's the name of this layer. I can grab that one. And now whenever I paint anything in here, it's going to paint that red on top of it. That's not exactly what we need. So instead what I can do is take this and now add a blur filter on top of it. So now you can see like wherever you paint this white thing, now there's going to be a red haze that goes around it because those two layers are now tied together with anchor points. So how do you use this if you're not just making some weird white down line? Um, so let's go back into what we were using here before. And you know, we've got this red paint and I've got these uh, kind of red, or I'm sorry, these, these cracks going in here. What I want to do is, you know, I've got this dripping rust. Like what if I wanted to, um, put some of the red paint and have that be affected by this kind of um, uh, uh, surface here, right? So in order to do that, I'll go back into uh, the layer that I painted this height data, and I can just, again, add an anchor point. It's called height, so I know it's my height mask. It's just named that for the layer. And then I can go up above it and say, okay, car paint, I want you, I want to add another fill layer. And again, I don't want to add a map or anything. I want to add that anchor point down below. And in the layering, because right now it's replacing it. Like I'll show you, I'll show you what it's doing. It's actually replacing with that. And instead of it doing that, I actually want to add them together. So now we've got this. It's a really subtle effect. I guess you can see it in there a little bit. And that's just because the original black and white image of this one is pretty subdued, right? It's there's not. It's not super, super, uh, it's not super, super into it. So what we can do is combine some of our previous knowledge and I can actually adjust the levels of this. So I can go back in say, hey, these levels, I actually wanna take this way down. And now you can see that red is really starting to stand out in there. And as I do that, I can go back in and, and adjust that height so it's not, that height isn't quite so, so deep. And then on top of that, cause now what we're getting is we're getting the red, but I'm not getting what's up above it. And so what I want to do here is instead of having a duplicate of my dripping rust, I actually want to pull in what's coming in from this car paint solid. So I want to say, add another anchor point. And now I want to pull this in up here. So instead of this being this dripping rust, I'm going to go and deactivate that, create a fill, and then just pull all that information uh, from down below. So now you can see it's, affect it's affecting everything. So now when I go back in, uh, to this and I just go back to my paintbrush and I want to grab my crack brush again like you can see that now not only am I painting the height it's also painting the red layer and then going up to the list and, and adding uh, the little bit of a, of a darker layer in there as well so you can see that there's like there's some really cool effects that you can do in here and as you start to kind of combine things together and start to tell the story of your object a little bit. Um, one thing to note, and this is a big one, is that in order for the anchor points to work, the it has to be below where you're calling it. So like basically if I was taking this height and I put this up above, you'll see it, it stops working. And actually when I go down in here, um, 
the anchor point is basically broken because it's it's basically saying like I need to know what it is first before you can define it. So always so if you're if your anchor points are ever breaking, always make sure that it's being identified down here and then being called up above it. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I combine those together in a way that hopefully help that make sense because I know that anchor points are um, a little bit tricky um, and also just like not the most intuitive workflow, but I would highly encourage you just to practice it a little bit because once you do, you, you're easily going to start to see the benefits um, and, and play around with those. So, um, all right, cool. So that wraps up our section on these um, sub-layer uh, attributes. Uh, from here, we're going to go into uh, looking at some uh, smart materials, smart masks, and the like there.